Zombie Apocalypse. What is happening guys, today we have another PC build for you. This one, something a bit different, something simple. Um, this is actually a build for one of my mates and we've put this together. And a few of you have requested a how-to liquid cool guide, so I thought I'd just use this opportunity and this build to show you how we went about liquid cooling and how we came up with this solution we have, how to manage the liquid and how we went about installing all of the components and filling the loop. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so something I like to start off right, right off the bat is I like to have my reservoir above my pump. Now, having the reservoir above the pump and having a lead going into the pump means that it's constantly being fed by water. Um, which, in, in saying that, that means that your pump will never run dry, um, so therefore it should have a longer life, because if your pump is running dry, then it could cause problems. Now, having it above there, so the liquid will always be gravity fed down to the pump, having it above it, so that's where I like to have a reservoir, just above the pump, and which this is why also you can get the um, pump reservoir combos and they make sure that the pump's on the bottom because that way the liquid is always being provided to the pump. So straight off the bat, that's one thing I'd recommend in a build. Now, second thing here is it is good to have uh, main component being cooled straight out of the radiator now it doesn't have to be done it's not a necessity but it is good if that could happen so with this particular loop um, we actually are not cooling a main component straight out of the radiator the main reason is because of the loop design that he wanted so what we're doing here is we're going from radiator to reservoir to pump to graphics card to CPU and then back up. Now, in saying that, your temperature shouldn't really vary from about around two degrees throughout the whole loop. Your temperatures won't vary, so it's not it's not a main sort of priority that you have to have with the radiator going straight into a main component but it is good to have if you want those cooler temperatures but you know it, it's only a few degrees here and there so it's not really a main priority here now down here you can see that we have an open uh, free port there and we actually have two underneath there um, so with this loop we were going to put a bit of a fill port valve thing in there but we decided not to because this was the cleaner look um, so what we're going to do is when we need to drain this liquid we actually have a funnel connected to a tube so we'll just place that under there the liquid will drain out of the reservoir and then to get the remaining liquid out of the um, radiator you just sort of tilt the case sideways and you know just sort of get the liquid running down just use gravity to get it all out and it should drain through this port there and there's two ports underneath straight into the um, the tube that we have with the funnel and straight out so that's a nice easy option to have if you don't want a big bulky fitting there such as a valve or anything like that to drain all that and it does work nicely now you may also notice that it's very hard for us to fill this thing because we have no fill ports so what I did is I came up with a similar solution as I did with my desk now if you think about it my desk is pretty much 
a computer laying on its side. So what we did for this option here is we tilted the case on its side and laid it down and you'll see that on the front of the pump there is an in and an out. So once again we grabbed our funnel and some tubing. I connected it here by a um, compression fitting and this sort of acted as a reservoir so when I connected the tubing and the funnel I just poured the liquid through the funnel and that was constantly gravity feeding this because it was on its side. Here's an example. Oh, it's popping! <laughs> There's no legs yet! Yeah. We've survived yeah. the first, what is it, minute? Ah. Blake, Blake. So, pretty happy with this build. It's nice and neat. The cable management's excellent. As you can see, not many cables. Uh, we're actually looking for a to make a shroud for this, so that'll hide all them cables. And we'll put something nice in there, nice decked out colour. And um, this purple's looking nice, I like that. These white LED fans there, nice and silent. You can probably dress here a tiny bit, that's the pump, but it's got um, it's got some switch, a toggle at the back where you can change the speeds of that, and in turn that changes the, uh, the sound that it makes as well. So that's not doing too bad, and we've actually had a lot of air bleed out. This was actually full, so the air is actually going around the loop, and the majority of air is normally caught in the radiator, so that's all bled out to the reservoir, and now we have all of that gap in there, which isn't too bad. We can always fill, top it up a tiny bit more, or just leave it like that. Just depends aesthetically what my mate wants and how he wants it, but overall, I'm pleased with this. Just a nice, simple case build, and um, it's turned out well. If we come to the front here, we have our Bit Fenex fan controller, and that's actually powering six fans. What I had to do is I had to cut up two PWM fan extensions, and I just soldered them together and just connected two fans to one fan header on the um, fan controller so I could run all of my six fans off of it. So overall, not a bad job. The tubing's nice and clean. I'll get in closer for you guys so you can have a look at these bends. So that tube bends all the way up there into the radiator. Try and get you a better angle. Comes around comes around here, bends that way into the reservoir, comes down, down into the pump, and the pump feeds the liquid up here, along here to the graphics card, then out of the graphics card, into the CPU, and from the CPU, bends out this way, and then back up to the radiator. And we also have a silver kill coil in there. Um, we ended up using some distilled water with some Mayhem's uh, purplish dye. Uh, it did say a purple blue, but yeah, it looks more purple than blue to me. So yeah, it all turned out nicely. This card here is a GTX 980. We're actually gonna look at getting a back plate for this and we also want to get some custom sleeving done so that'll all sort of make the whole build pop and complete it but overall looks nice and clean and very very happy with the results all right guys thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please stay tuned ask any questions you need maybe even comment and tell me what you want me to film what you want to know what if there's any guides you want me to do just let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time thanks guys